Do that again to find the width. So 1, 500. So if the scale is 1, the actual is 500. I know the actual is 140. So I'm finding x. Cross product. 500. x equals 140. Divide by 500. Divide by 500 x equals 0 0.28. So when you're dealing with scale, the scale is always on top, the actual is always on the bottom. Three says to solve the proportional equation. Do I have to do it by cross product? Yes or no? Because 3 times what gives me 15? So 2 times 5 is 10. And I'm done. You can do cross product if you want. Denise constructs a triangle with angles measure 64, 32, and 32. What would the third angle measure be? Well, you just add 64 plus 32 is 96. 180 minus 96, and I get 84 degrees. You can set it up with an equation with a letter if you'd like. Name the figure below. What's on the bottom? What's the base shape? The square. So it's a square pyramid. No, because there's triangular pyramids. And we had that last week. 
Six, find the circumference in the area if the radius of a circle is nine inches. So I'm going to start with circumference. Circumference equals two times pi times r, or circumference equals diameter times pi. So we're going to get rid of having to write down slope formula, but you're going to have to start always writing these formulas down every day because these are ones that need to be memorized. So I'm going to start with the circumference. And we know the radius equals 9. So which one do I want to use? Well, I'll use this one. So 2 times 3.14 times 9 would be 18 times pi, which is 56.55. Um, because if I put the pi in the calculator, it becomes this. And so I round it to the nearest hundred. Otherwise, I can do 18 times 3.14, which is this. And then pi 2. So either answer would be correct. But then it also told me that I had to find the area. Area equals pi r squared. So I take 3.14 times 9 squared. So it's 3.14 times 81. Okay. 254.34. If I use the pi button though, I got 
area equals one half the base times the height. Or I can write it as base times height divided by two. So I'm gonna do that one first. So I've got the base is eight times the height is seven, and I'm gonna divide it by two. So it's eight times seven. What? So then I'm gonna take six and six, and I'm gonna divide it by two, and I get? What? So that's the area of the triangle. Now I gotta find the area of a circle. Circle area is pi r squared. If I look here, do I know the radius? Does it tell me the radius? No, but I can figure it out. What would the radius be? Four, because halfway is four. So my area is pi times four squared, which is 3.14 times 16. 3.14 times 16, I'm sorry, thank you. Is 50.24, but that would be an entire circle. So then what do I do to that? Divide it by two. So then I want half the circle, and I get 25.12. Now I add my 28 and my 25.12, so I'm gonna show it over here. I get 53.12. That is your end, it's area. So it would be 